hi guys and welcome back to the channel i'm just saying my piece and um today i thought i'd do a, something a little bit different you know um this here that you're looking at is my little neck of the woods my neighborhood and i noticed that there is a trend toward uh, certain types of renovations where they do this boxy square ultra modern type thing so i and i noticed a lot of people around my neighborhood have been doing exactly that same kind of renovation um, it's less of a renovation and more of a complete remodeling to be perfectly honest and there's a little bit of wind, wind, there's a little bit of wind warning i should tell you anyhow yeah so i thought i would go through the neighborhood just you know take a quick walk and show you what they have been doing because originally this neighborhood as you can see the houses beside this one that is in the central picture that house looked exactly like the one over to the right of it originally before they remodeled it and uh, having remodeled it this is what it looks like and this is a very common thing i noticed that's going on throughout my neighborhood and uh, in fact i don't mind it. it i think it's really nice you know i think it's a from my point of view anyway it it maximizes the footprint of the house that the existing house that is already there and it takes that footprint and add a whole lot more square footage to it so and of course it's it's beautiful and the organic uh, building materials i think are rather nice you know from this one for in particular the large windows and the large entrance ways and so on um it's basically the same house on the lower section it's just they have as i said extended it toward the top and i rather like that so uh enjoy the little walk through that i did and you will see that a lot of the houses have been many many of the houses have been remodeled in this manner so as i said it's just a little walk through in my little neighborhood and hope you enjoy it Before, you know, this this area used to be back in the day, in the 70s and 80s, when this area was built up. It essentially was a subdivision. And as you can see, all the houses, even though they may at the moment look all different, they essentially were what you would call a cookie cutter subdivision. All the houses are most of them in any case i would say about 90 percent of them were designed in the same manner and so the one that we just passed just now um even though it may look a little different from the others like this one for example that's in the picture it is was exactly the same as the one that is beside it and as they change hands the owners modify them and remodel them until what you're getting is a very is a very fairly varied neighborhood now but um it is a pretty nice neighborhood i don't mind it, it it's it's pretty decent now take a look at this house here in the middle that is coming up this is one of the few that has not been remodeled in the usual i would say ultra modern um, square 
black look that seems to be taking over the entire neighborhood but then also this one was done a little bit uh, before some of those others so I guess that maybe of course people have their own individual taste but as I said these are all the same houses they were all exactly the same so you will probably notice for example that they're they they all have that same garage at the side which is usually a two-car garage doesn't matter if they make it into a single door or whatever it's, it's essentially the same thing now what i do like about many of these is the the material that is used because these were originally either clapboard or um or brick facade and as they remodeled them they have changed them now <clears throat> this this is the most expensive remodel on this street here and it is uh, <laughs> the neighbors were not happy about it let's let's just say that um, they sort of fought against having it done this way, but uh, it's a private dwelling. What can you do? They did not want it. They considered this house a monstrosity. It the square footage has essentially become about four times what it used to be, and it sort of towers over all the other remodels and houses that have not been remodeled. But um, you know, if somebody buys their property, you can't really dictate to them what they should. And should not do with it um, like it or not it's what they want it, it is nice yes it does not fit into the neighborhood but we can tell you what to do it is your darn house I like it um, as I said this one here on the left is another of those ultra modern remodels and again, it goes with that uh, flat roof, uh, maximizing your entire um, square footage. But again, it used to be exactly like the others. And if you notice, the one that is beside it is precisely the same design as the one across the street. And in fact, the one that is above it is essentially the same design too so they are pretty nice i i cannot complain about them on a personal level because um i'm thinking of the same thing myself this whole ultra modern um large windows square footage maximization and if you look at the materials that they're using they are a pretty nice stone facade um, as opposed to what used to be exposed brick which is sort of kind of falling out of favor around here um, but you know it's uh, it's pretty nice in my opinion as i said uh, just a quick walk through the neighborhood to see what what people are doing the sort of exterior designs that are becoming common here again we have another one of those ultra modern design this gentleman didn't go overboard he simply just went with a basic design and I you know can't fault him it's his it's what he wants Now, this design here is 
my favorite redesign on this entire street. Um, what they did, which is not a common thing around here, is to add a balcony, an upstairs balcony to the, to the design. Now before we do that, let's take a look at this other one here. Uh, again, this is another one of the, what the neighbors are calling overdone monstrosities. <laughs> and uh, this one was particularly galling to the neighbors because as you can see, um, they did the stone facade at the front and then opted for brick facade at the side. And I can tell you, they um, there were petitions against it. Let's just say that. <laughs> Anyhow, um, this particular one here, I, I absolutely love this design. Um, they is essentially what they did with this was to instead of putting a whole a lot of rooms on the inside, they they made and they went for the open concept idea so the inside is completely open um, they added a balcony at the top a glass enclosed balcony um, well actually two balconies um, there's a walkout balcony for you know from the upper bedroom which has been enlarged and uh, made into a massive suite uh, master bedroom type suite um, the entire interior has been completely remodeled, redesigned altogether. And uh, as you can see, this is one of the few that has an upstairs balcony. And uh, well, two upstairs, as I said, two upstairs balconies. Um, there's that one that you can see there, and there's that other one on the left hand side, and that comes straight out of the master bedroom. Um, so, it, this is, in my opinion, the very best remodel of the bunch on this part of the street, or at least on my street, because going over in this, because this neighborhood is pretty large, so going over on the other street, there are other remodels that are quite nice, but in my opinion, um, they have taken what was there and made the best possible and have the best possible outcome from what it what it was before now this house here that is coming up um, with the um, what's it called dutch gable i believe is what they call this sort of half roof shingled sides um, it kind of sticks out because it was one of the original houses that was here long before this neighborhood was built up. So this house is running into its 60 or 70 years old or something along those lines. And it is almost a heritage house. And to be honest, I really like it. Not something that I would do myself, really. But, you know, I think it adds character to the neighborhood. And I, it is... You know, I, when I pass, I walk by and look at it, and I rather like it. As I said, not something that I would do myself, but, you know. Anyhow, I'm glad you could take this walk with me. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Just Saying My Peace. And my next video, my next um, Building Your Dream House in Jamaica video will be coming out sometime uh, later in the week. And it will be about flooring. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the videos. And yeah, man, give it a thumbs up, you know, because it helps. Okay, thank you very much.